Good evening. I am thrilled to have the opportunity to announce the 2012 Heisman Trophy winner, especially after such an unforgettable season in college football. A season where a quarterback's perseverance made his name recognizable well beyond the prairies of Kansas. Where a freshman reminded us never to put off until tomorrow what can be accomplished today. And where a linebacker showed us that one achieves success by courage and hard work, not merely by the luck of the Irish. To these Heisman finalists, on behalf of the former winners beside me, we congratulate you for demonstrating the ideals of dedication, discipline, and excellence the Heisman Trophy represents. And to the winner, relish the knowledge that you will become a member of the most elite athletic fraternity in the world that your name will forever be associated with the legacy of being a Heisman Trophy winner. And now, the 2012 winner of the Heisman Memorial Trophy is Johnny Manziel. <laughs> This is a moment that I've dreamed about since, uh, since, I was, since I've been a kid. Running around the backyard pretending I was Doug Flutie throwing Hail Marys to my dad. Uh, now I'm so blessed to be on a stage with such a group of great guys and to be, in, to be uh, invited into this fraternity. Uh, what a pleasure it really is. Uh, I'd like to start by thanking the Heisman Trust and everybody who made this weekend possible. Uh, what a great experience it was to, to meet the people that I have, Manti and Colin. Not only great football players, but great guys off the field as well. Uh, it's been a pleasure to get to know you guys better, and I wish y'all the best of luck. It's such an honor to represent Texas A&M and, and my teammates here tonight. Uh, I wish they could be on the stage with me. Uh, at Texas A&M, choosing that school is one of the best decisions I've ever made in my entire life, and I'm so proud to be a part of that. To mom, dad, Mary, and the entire family watching, you mean the world to me, and I just want to thank you for the encouragement, the love, and the patience over the years. Grandpa, to all the times we used to play in the hallway and throw the ball until we couldn't anymore, I love you with all my heart and you've inspired me to play football. And to Grandma, I'm so sorry for all the things that we broke in the house. <laughs> to my coaches back at Kerrville Tivy, uh, Mark Smith, Julius Scott, and everybody there, you taught us all what it meant to really fight and work for something that you wanted more than anything in the world. You taught us about passion and about heart and what it truly meant to say Tivy fight never dies. To Coach Sherman, Coach Rossley, Coach Sumlin, Coach Kingsbury, and everybody that's been a part of my coaching, uh, a part of me playing football for my entire life, you've been, you've been a truly a blessing. You've taught, taught me not only what it is to be a football player, but to be a man as well. For that, I thank you so much. I wish my whole team could be up here with me tonight, especially my, my great offensive line and, and the whole offense. Luke Jokel, Jarvis Harrison, Cedric Aboye. Jake Matthews and Patrick Lewis, I'm a safe standing right here as I am in the pocket with you guys. You've done a great job of keeping me off my back and I can't thank you enough for everything. To all my teammates back home, I love you with all my heart. I'd especially at this time like to honor somebody who's near and dear to everybody at Texas A&M, and Joey Villavicencio. Around this time last year, a center on our team passed away in a tragic car accident. 
It was something that, that, as a whole team, that we really had to fight through and press on through the bowl game. And to Mr. and Mrs. Villavicencio, if I had a son, I would want him to be exactly like him. Well, I know Joey's in a better place. And most of all, I want to thank God for allowing me to be here. All that he's blessed me with in my entire life, I'm so thankful for. For the love and the grace that you've shown me, I'll be forever grateful. And then the values that I've learned from my parents and that have been carried over by Texas A&M. Leadership, respect, and putting others first. It's what the 12th man is all about. I believe one of the, the 12th man is one of the greatest traditions in all of college football. 40,000 students standing not as fans, but as members of our team. To the 12th man, to Texas A&M, Kerrville, Texas, and Aggies everywhere, this Heisman Trophy is for you. Giggle. Yes. Johnny, congratulations. Thank you so much. Are, are, you, are you sure you're still a freshman? Get to meet some of these guys back here, unit fraternity members. We'll go to Joe Tessitore with the look at the final results. Chris, our friends at Deloitte & Tush just handed me the final results. I quickly want to